do prosthetic limbs stay on? But what do you do if you run out of duct tape? Back in the older days, straps were used, but that's uncomfortable because not only do the straps rub your leg, but your residual limb tends to piston as you walk. Ow. Nowadays, we've got two main approaches pins or suction. If you're in the mood to freak out small children, simply unclick your pin lock liner from its socket and sit around in public with this big old pin sticking out the end of your leg. Kids always assume that giant pin has been implanted inside you. And while that is a possibility, especially for above knee amputees who don't have enough leg left to get a secure hold with the liner, if you don't have a need that warrants osseointegration, then there really isn't a point in locking yourself into that one option. See what I did there? Since I'm more into stand-up routines than terrifying small children, if they seem curious, I simply take off my liner. See? The pin is attached to this sock-like tube, not to me. The tube is called a liner and it's really grippy, so it clings to my leg. Kind of like if you put jello on a plate. See how it sticks even though it's not exactly sticky? Then that pin on the end fits in that hole inside my sideboard leg. The cup-like part is called a socket. See these ridges on the pin? They click into place, which holds the liner onto the rest of the prosthesis. And when I'm ready to take off my lick, I just push that little button and off it goes. Even a small child can do it. I want to push the button. While we're chatting, I'll point out that my leg is just like his leg, up to this point. I'm just missing everything under that line. I've got the same bones in the same places. They're just shorter. And if you feel the back of your leg, that's what my calf feels like too. Though maybe mine's a little squishier. That muscle doesn't get much exercise without toes to wiggle. So it's a little out of shape. So that's how my leg stays on. Well, one of my legs. You see, I have more than one. To all those people who feel sorry for me because I don't have as many legs as they do, newsflash, I have way more legs than you do, unless you're a centipede, in which case you've got me beat. Remember how I said there are two main ways to keep a prosthetic leg on, pin lock and suction. That was an oversimplification. Some legs use suction, where as you walk, the air is getting pushed out of the socket, which creates negative pressure, sucking the socket onto the residual limb. Other prostheses use literal vacuums. Um, not that kind. We need something smaller. There's a little vacuum at the bottom of the socket. It's about the size and shape of a hockey puck. To put on this leg, I get loaded up, then I push the button and it sucks the leg onto me. Just like you can suck a rubber foot onto a cleaning vacuum. I do that sort of thing in my spare time. If you spend any amount of time moving around with vacuums or suction, including those suction cups they torture me with in physical therapy, you'll notice that having just one part of your body taking the brunt of a vacuum for a prolonged period of time isn't fun. Now apply that to amputated legs. Most of the time it's fine, but if something goes wrong, it really sucks. Uh, literally. Best case scenario, you'll have a very hard time explaining the weird hickey on your residual limb. Worst case scenario, you'll end up with sores or injuries. That's why we have professionals rig these things up instead of just sticking vacuums to amputated legs. And for the record, I'm not a professional giving out advice. I'm just trying to clean my house. I think my vacuum's clogged. The system that holds a cyborg leg onto a human leg is called a suspension system. I know I've said it once, but I'll say it again. Having my very own suspension system makes me feel like a race car. Having used both vacuum seal and pin lock suspension systems, I can tell you that they have different pros and cons. If you want a video about that, tell me in the comments. Those pros and cons are things you can discuss with your prosthetist when choosing a leg. What's best for you depends a lot on your individual situation, which can evolve over time. I stopped using vacuum seal because my leg developed a bursa and the vacuum was making things worse. I'm happy with my current pin lock system, though in addition to keeping my leg on, it occasionally provides much needed entertainment when horrified onlookers think I have a mega screw stuck in my leg. And if you want to know why I'm sitting there with my leg off in the first place, check out this weirdly entertaining video. Maybe I just ran out of duct tape. I'm Stephanina, 
and thank you for joining me on my amputee adventures. Hey, give that back. <laughs>